do you know how to make my moi wrapped up in tin foil? Well, today is your lucky day. Hi, my name is Funke Villa, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funky, one and only wife of MC Tunde Villa. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, Welcome! However, if you're a returning subscriber and you're back for more, thank you. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you. So, today I'm going to be kicking off a new series called Cook and Chat. And in this series, the first guest I'm having on the show is none other than drum roll. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my fruitful fingers. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mrs. Olufolake Ayeyemi, the CEO of My Fruitful Fingers and the creative director of the Moriah Support Group. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome my fruitful fingers thank you thank, thank you, you thank you thank you for having me thank you so much for coming on the show thank today so me. ladies and gentlemen in case you don't know who my fruitful fingers is she is the lady that makes me look always glamorous Ooh. like this <laughs> she is the one behind all this beautiful It'll look you out <laughs> thank you very much so if you are interested in any of our pieces please follow her on instagram Facebook and Twitter yeah and she's also on YouTube and she would make you look fabulous, fabulous yes <laughs> so would would you like to introduce yourself to our, our audience oh thank you very much for the warm welcome hi everybody my name is Falake Ayemi and as Funke said I'm the creative director of my football fingers and yeah, I make dresses and outfits like this ones that you're looking at on the screen. I think I'll stop there for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today, my sister, she is going to be showing us a, another way of making moi moi. Moi moi is beans cake and it's a favorite delicacy in Nigeria. Uh, North, South, East, West, Nigerians love moi moi. Even non-Nigerians love moi moi. And uh, moi moi is rich in protein, rich in all sorts of good, good stuff for your body. So there are different ways of making the beans into cakes. Traditionally made with the leaves or you can make it in cups. You can make it in foil containers. Tins, yeah. You can, but today she's showing us a different way. She's showing us how you make moi moi wrapped up in tin foil. Yeah? Do you know how to make moi moi wrapped up in tin foil? Well, today is your lucky day. <laughs> You're here for a treat. She's going to show us. So, our ingredients for this dish today are. Yep, we've got our peeled beans. We're using peeled beans peeled right beans. here. Mm -hmm. We've got red bell peppers. We've got two red be bell peppers. We've got two onions, medium sized onions. Mm. We've got three scotch bonnets. Mm -hmm. We've got um, mackerel fish. Mm -hmm. uh, we've already st uh, steamed and deboned yeah. the mackerel fish. Mm -hmm. We've got boiled eggs. Yep. Um, we've got our oil, yep. uh, sunflower oil. We've got ground crayfish, salt to taste, and some seasoning. And some seasoning. Thank you so much, my fruitful fingers. So, 
what do we do first to make my mind what do we need to do first so the place to start is to prep our ingredients especially the fish and the eggs so mm -hmm. we steam the eggs and also the fish and we've already done that after that we then need to prep the beans okay. to prep the beans we need to soak it in water lukewarm water for at least four hours okay. you can leave it for a little bit more but minimum of three to four hours i would say okay. just to make it really really soft okay. and then we add on the peppers and the onions and blend it okay yep. so stay with us ladies and stay gentlemen you're in for a treat today yes you are thank you <laughs> okay so now we have our beans thoroughly washed and cleaned we're going to start the blending process of the beans and one top tip I have for uh, prepping moi moi beans is to use a handheld blender first. So before you put your beans in a cup blender, mm. use a handheld uh, blender just to just to yeah just to start the blending process. I first. quite like that. Too. Yeah, yeah, it does help. Yeah. So we'll we'll do that first. <laughs> Okay, so we've now um, used the handheld mixer to lightly blend our beans mm -hmm. and we're going to start to blend the beans in the cup. Yeah. So we'll put some of the beans in here like that. I really like the idea of using the hand. Yeah, it does help and it, it saves your really... blender yeah. from dying quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we put some beans in there and some some of the onion scotch bonnet and red bell peppers in there like that put a little bit of water that much water is enough mm. isn't it? yes and then we blend okay so we've finished blending our yep. beans and now we're going to start if you notice we've swapped sides, sides. So, because this this section is pretty <laughs> technical and she's the pro in indeed, this area indeed. so <laughs> I'll, I'll let her show us how to do this properly so right what do we do next yes yeah, so um we'll start by um adding all the ingredients well we'll start with the oil okay so we'll put all of the oil Give it a good mix. Just for the oil to mix in with bean, blended beans. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, my grandma used to say that you cannot mix. Um, when you start mixing, you have to keep mixing in the same direction. So you can't mix this way and then mix the other <laughs> way. So I find it really hard to, to mix and to yeah, clockwise so and then just, mix yeah. clockwise. So once I start going one way, that's I just stick to that one mm. way. I don't know if that's a, a myth. A myth or not. <laughs> it's well, probably it's a myth. just stuck with me. <laughs> so I think that's mixed in enough. Okay. I know some people like to mix this a lot more, but I don't think it really is necessary. Necessary, yeah. So I'm just going to add, add the, the crayfish. crayfish. If you know me already, yes, you know. <laughs> I was going to say we're crayfish. in Mrs. Fabulous Kitchen, so crayfish must feature at yeah. some point. And there's never too much. As there's you never say. too much crayfish. <laughs> So while I do that, you can add on the seasoning. Okay, all four cubes? All four, please. And you can add the salt as well. Okay. It's about a teaspoon of salt? About, yeah. Not too much salt. Oops. Splishy, splashy. Mm -hmm. Okay, just want to make sure the seasoning mixes in very well because mm -hmm. we don't want to chew on any 
seasoning when we're eating our moi moi. Mm. So while so. you're mixing that, yeah. So can can you just tell me and the viewers at home? I know I already know, but our viewers probably don't know a lot about Moriah. You're the yeah. coordinator of Moriah Support Group. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about Moriah, please? Right. So Moriah uh, Family Support Group is is a group where we confidentially support parents of children with additional needs. So any kind of special needs, um, autism, ADHD, Down syndrome, and you know, even undiagnosed um, needs as well. Mm -hmm. So what we basically do is, um, as parents, we come together because we, we discover that um, on the journey of special needs, the best way to um, get support is by learning from other parents who are going through similar challenge, challenges mm -hmm. and and for me personally, because I, I, this group started from a personal experience that I have with one of my daughters, I have found that learning from other parents have, has helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. And so also the other parents that we run the group together. So it's just a forum where we all just come together and just learn from one another's experiences, share the joys, because there's a lot of joys. Mm. Many times we forget the joys, we always mm. talk about the challenges, but there's yeah. so much, mm. you know, um, progress that our kids make. But because we focus many times on the, on the challenges, done. we don't remember to celebrate their, their yeah. achievements. Yeah. So yeah, that's it really. Mm. And Maria is on online? Now we're online. I mean, as uh, everybody else is online. <laughs> of, uh, the world has gone the digital. World, yeah. So yeah. we used to, before COVID, meet um, in Portsmouth once a month. But now we meet online on Zoom mm. twice a month, actually. So, now, so. Uh, parents all over the world, all over the world, join can, yeah. can benefit from yeah. this support. And how can they reach you on? Uh, we're on Facebook as Moriah okay. Family Support Group on Instagram okay. as well. As Moriah Family Support Moriah Group family support and group. on Twitter and on Twitter as Moriah okay. family I'll put a group. link in the description box about more details for yeah. Moriah okay so yeah. back to our uh, Moi Moi yes thank so you as so it, as it mixed thoroughly enough yeah now. I think that's mixed in enough okay so, so now we're going to begin to wrap right. our Moi Moi in, in Tin foil. foil. So, so this is a really tricky. It is kind a of, bit tricky and a bit fiddly. It is fiddly, but, but you're yeah. an expert and uh, you're going to show well, us. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna try. I've done this a few times, so I'm just hoping that. So I tend to do this at, at an angle. So your foil, I cut them. Um, the width is about thirty centimeters ish, mm -hmm. thirty-four centimeters. So I tend to hold it at, at an angle. So you hold it up this way and then you fold it at an angle that way, okay? You fold one side, so you fold the right side that way at an angle and then you fold it over. So your next fold from the left will be mid, kind of midway, so not at the bottom there. So the reason is because you don't want the beans to leak. Okay. So then you fold it over and then you wrap the tail around the end. So if you've made um, moin moin with leaves, it's very, very similar. It's just that this one is a little bit more fiddly. Mm. So there you have your- Triangle yeah, pocket. Yeah, ready for your beans to go in. It's very advisable to use the extra strong foil. Okay. It's less fiddly than the other um, types of foil that there. So I think two scoops of the Things will be enough. So one first, and then we'll add on the fish, fish, and our egg, egg. boiled egg. Then another scoop on top of that. Again, we don't want it to be too full to prevent it from leaking. So once you've got everything in, you fold it so this way. Okay. So you use your left finger to start the folding. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get the best angle for <laughs> our viewers to see what I'm doing. And then 
and that's, that's it. it. Mm. And it goes okay. in the pot. He's made it look so easy. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I've, I've practiced a few times. Mm -hmm. And to say the truth, sometimes you're just never sure. But yes. sometimes it just chooses not to work. Well, I think today is okay. a good day. So let's put, let's yeah, put so, it so, so first you fold. Mm. No, so hold it that way. And then you fold. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So when you're folding, mm. you want there to be about that much left at the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. And then you then go. So see where my finger is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you fold it over. So. And then you wrap it all the way around until it comes all the way to the front. Yep, and then you press the end in. It's just to secure the bottom so that mm. the beads doesn't leak. So once you've done that, make your your cone. Yep, like that. Well done. Well make done. my cone. That's looking good. That's looking good. And then you pour in your beans. Okay. Yeah. So that's your. No, this is your cone. There. Okay. Yeah. So in some beans. Okay, one more scoop of beans. So again, you use your left finger, mm -hmm. like you're pushing in the side of the, so you're pushing in one side, yeah. and then you're folding the other side, using your, you know, so you're, you're like wrapping it around your finger, but you will take your finger out, and then you just fold it at the end there. Mm. Well done. <laughs> it's okay. 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 So, we're going to wrap our beans in the tin foil. Okay. So, it's the best way, from my point of view, is to hold it at an angle. So, hold it up this way. Mm -hmm. So, like a, a diamond shape. Okay. And then you fold your right side, the right side over the left, towards your left side, okay? And then before you fold your the left side over, you want to start folding about one third inward, okay? Because if you, you don't want to fold here, otherwise there will be, the beans will leak. So you're folding it, it this way to close the gap, okay? And prevent any leakage. So you fold this, left side over and then wrap the end all the way around till it comes out the front okay so this way you've kind of blocked any leakage. yeah so there's a little chance of leakage so if you look at that you should have something like that okay and then you can scoop in your beans Okay, so two scoops is enough. Again, you don't want it to be too full so that it doesn't leak. And when you've done that, you start with your left feet, uh, thumb to push the side in and then wrap the top bit around like that. This is just to secure this part of the foil so it doesn't leak. Mm -hmm. And once that's wrapped around like that, you just fold the top over and that's it. Yeah. Okay. That goes in the pot. Okay. Okay. So, so hold up an angle. Yeah. So hold this. Yeah. 
okay and then you fold okay so you can you can hold you can hold this top bit as you fold it just so it doesn't crumble and then that tells you where your your opening will be where your form will be Okay, let's wrap that around all the way to the front. Well done, you're doing well. Mm. Doing well. It's quite fiddly. Very, very fiddly. The good thing with foil is you can reshape it once you've wrapped it. So. The most important thing is to make sure that the um, end is sealed. Sealed, yes, yeah, so that there's no leakage. Okay. okay. So you're going to scoop. Yeah. So you finish up with your left thumb pushing in the end. So you wrap the end as if you want to wrap it around that left thumb just to make a fold at the top there. And then you fold the top in. Yeah, that's it. Well done. Mm. Yay! Well done. Get some vegetables. <laughs> well done. Well done. So again, your right or the left, then you wrap it around. Off with your left thumb, so you wrap the foil around the left thumb. Once you get that shape around the left thumb, then you get your finger out mm -hmm. and just oh, hold the top. Yeah, but it's very important to use extra strong. It is, yeah, it makes foil. it easier because, yeah. yeah, otherwise, they will just it's quite fiddly, apart. it's quite fiddly, so it's um, it's it's yeah. It's better to use extra strong. You can use any foil, but because it's very fiddly, you you have more control over the extra strong foil. Okay. So wow, this is this is some really handy skills that you're showing that you're showing us today. So thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. I just say practice makes perfect. So don't give up if you try the first time. And it, and it crumbles. Yeah, <laughs> keep trying. Cause um, I remember my first one. I know that it was uh, not 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Uh, so um, also, I I wanted you to tell us a little bit about my fruitful fingers. Oh yeah. I know anyone that hasn't been under a rock for the past ten years <laughs> should know <laughs> should know about my fruitful fingers, but. For the benefit of those that don't, can you just tell us a little bit about my Fufu Fingers? Okay, so my Fufu Fingers is a fashion design um, company where we design clothes outfits for ladies of all ages. So we don't make clothes for men, sorry, but yeah. <laughs> sorry, men. Ladies outfits, all sorts, formal, casual, traditional, you name it, we're here for you. And also, um, we teach people how to make their own clothes. So we don't only make clothes, we um, run training, different types of training for ladies and young girls. Um, it used to be one-to-one, -one, but now we do a lot online, which is really good. So mm -hmm. distance is no barrier. Yeah, no <laughs> Wherever where you are, are yeah, exactly. World, you can learn. You can definitely learn yeah. um, with us. And yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. And People like me have really benefited from the <laughs> expertise of my Fufu Fingers. Sure. So if you don't already follow her on Instagram and Facebook, 
please do to at my fruitful fingers on all, all social platforms, media yeah. platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so, you. So now we're nearly done with our um, my mind yeah. wrapping. Just one or two more and we will be sorry. Okay. Okay, so now we have wrapped our moi moi in the tin foil and we have arranged them in a pot with some water underneath to steam. So we're going to be steaming them for about, about an hour. An hour. Yeah. So this is a patience game, but mm -hmm. give it enough time to steam properly and we'll be right back once they're nicely steamed to show you the, the, result. the result. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, moi moi wrapped up in tin foil paper. Thank you so much, my fufu fingers, for showing us this okay. new, very, very handy kitchen skills. We You're really welcome. appreciate you. You're Thank welcome. you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching as well. If you like the video, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and leave a comment, please. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank See you, you next time. Bye bye. bye. bye.